How many times will I tell this story? How many times can I try to explain? I wrote it the first time to everyone, to a friend. Dear Patrick, dear Amanda Line, dear Barisa with the feather in your hat, dear Africa, dear college, dear boy I think I love because I felt it that first time, that only time on the couch when we kissed. I changed my name a lot and yours to protect the innocent. I started writing you this letter in Chicago. I had a dream about you on the Golden Gate Bridge. Last year, I was seized by it while I was sitting in a classroom full of broken pianos down in New Orleans. Once there were houses there, now they are gone. I rode a bicycle across a bridge and walked on the concrete slabs of driveways and sat on the concrete stoops to places that no longer exist. I wanted to tell you I'm in love with you. I wanted to tell you that I bought a hatchback car and drove 10,000 miles in a NASCAR circle around this continental block of a country with a mandolin and a half-written song about my heart that I sang to the people I met in campgrounds. I kissed boys I didn't know very well. I kissed them at parties on the beach. I kissed them in parked cars. I didn't kiss any girls because it's not my thing, but you know, I'm cool with it anyway. I kissed your brother once, did more than that, because it seemed at the time like a good idea. Listen, I'm sorry about that. When you were young, you were stupid, and you know I will always be stupid. What should I tell you that can impress you now? When I, where I went to grad school? Whether I ever know anyone that died in a hurricane or shooting at a school? Not to brag about it, but I do. I'm writing you this postcard from my hatchback car. I have to tell you, I'm in love with you and I'm on my second lap. The second time around the country, you got used to cornfields, you get used to the way First they call something a sloppy joe, and then they call it loose meat. I don't eat meat anymore. I saw food ink on someone's laptop at a campground that had free Wi-Fi. Isn't that weird? I'm so in love with you. You are every face on Mount Rushmore. You are every dead president on all the money that I don't have. You are, this is how I described you once to a girl at a bar when I was drunk the imagined reader looking over my shoulder when I write in my diary. What am I chasing out here? Why am I still on the road? I'm writing you this postcard from a beat Nick's liver. I don't feel well. I think that I'm getting sick and that may be just because I am paranoid. Or maybe because it's true that everything is poison. How many times can I tell this story? Girl is running, girl is walking, girl is looking at a shirt at the mall. One more time. Here it is, and it's the truth, and I'm in love with you, so listen. Girl is in a hatchback car. Girl has the kind of heart that is infl inflated by everything, but always, always, especially the moon. It is a clear night. It is the kind of spooky night where you can turn off the headlights of your car on the forgotten highways of South Dakota and drive with nothing but the heavens to guide you. I was listening to one of your mixtapes. I've had the thing for years. And a song came on and my heart was more than my heart was more than my soul was whatever that feeling is. God, I am so in love with everything, I thought. Even the concrete slabs and the abandoned construction sites of New Jersey. Even Allen Ginsberg, even though I know he's dead and he's gay. I was driving with the headlights off. I told you that. Your song came on and I had to pull the car over. It didn't matter. I wasn't going to be late for anything. I got out of the car and did what this fat medicine woman I met once told me to do under a full moon. I danced with my shadow. I danced with everyone I was ever in love with, even Wal Whitman, even Crazy Horse, even Marilyn Monroe and Frida Kahlo, and every woman with a spark, even you, even your brother, 
We were all dancing together. Your song was playing to the quiet night, to the stars, to the moon that was full as a Thanksgiving belly. There have been times when I was writing in my diary and your eyes, even though I knew they were looking, were far, far away. There were times when I had to stop my car and sell clothes to consignment shops or wash dishes just to buy gas to keep running along this track. But I am done with running. I am writing you this postcard from the side of the road. The moon is a halo or a block of cheese. And the internet can deliver this faster than the postal service, but oh well. Here's what I have to tell you. I had just finished dancing. I had collapsed in a heap across the hood of my car and was thinking about how I am an unrecognizable speck to the satellites that are never, ever shooting stars. But I made a wish anyway. And you'll never guess, it was the weirdest thing. Your song ended and the side of the tape ended and I hummed a little of that song I never finished. And then, I'm not sure, I think I fell asleep or into that half sleep. You know the kind that I'm talking about? Time, infinity, words even phys physicists can't understand. And then a grunt. You won't believe this. You won't believe this even though I'm writing this right now from the hood of my car. You won't believe this, but I am telling you this anyway. It is a buffalo. I can't tell if it's a boy or a girl. There are no eyelashes or cartoon bows. It is bigger than my hatchback car, and it is as far away from me as my steering wheel. Oh my god. Have you ever made eye contact with an animal before? With your cat, even? It is as big as a bread truck. It is as brown as a loaf of fresh-baked fresh bread. Have you ever made eye contact? Have you ever really looked? This road is just a slab of concrete. This car, these clothes. Girl drives around. Girl drives in circles and circles and circles and circles. I am so in love with you. I am sending you this postcard, every postcard, on the moon shadows of bread trucks. But for now, I have to go. This buffalo, I can tell. He is ready to dance.